So, this is H.G. Bailey, and welcome back to Let's Play Breath of Fire 2! Since last time, I rearranged my equipment as I have listed in the video description there, and we I returned to Windia, so that way I can recruit one more merchant for Township there. So yeah, if you recall, we talked to him earlier, yeah, he wants to be a fishmonger. So, yeah, let's set up a shop there. He's not that extraordinary, really, but it's better than nothing, because all the other ones are pretty terrible. So, you might as well take him along. He does sell fish that could be used for some cooking, so... Yeah, there's a little use you could get out of him, but... Yeah, not a whole lot. Oh, also, since last time, I... Yeah, went back and bought a whole bunch of ammonias. I think one stack would probably last me... Well, the whole game, really. I'm probably not going to die that often. So, but it's a good idea to have a stack of those so you don't have to worry about bringing along a healer all the time. All right, we're okay. We're all done with that. I will meet you back by... What was that place? Capitan! And then we'll get ready to head to Fort Majeure. Okay, we're back on the other side here. And I put Tapeta in my party here so that way i can get around these cliffs relatively quickly here but also in his frog form haha -ha, he can swim and you can't run into random battles while you're in the water so that's pretty nice okay hmm i think i need to go up from here hmm okay let's go around yeah, sometimes it's just tough to jump over cliffs like that directly with Tepeda. Now let's see, if I go here... Ha ha! Ah, there it is. And in the little waterfall cave, we get a... Well, a piece of headgear, a circlet there, also known as a socklet in the official translation. Because... Reasons, I guess. And I have no idea what a void spear does. Or sphere, whatever. Let's see. Well, let's check it out. What does it do? I don't think it's anything useful. Really, game? Really? Okay! Yeah, I have no idea what that does. That's okay. Oh. Dr. Aegon? No. Nah. No, nah, that's another game. But anyway, yeah, for this part... You need to have Ryu in the lead of the party there. Hey, how's it going? Huh? What's that? What did that do? What do you mean, go home? Yeah! Who do you think you are, Master Roshi? Ah! Okay, yeah, I guess so. Did that do anything? Well, yes it did. If you check Ryu's spell list, hey, we've got the elemental dragons that are not actually elemental, but they're the next upgrade of dragons for Ryu there, so you have no reason to use the whelps, even if they can exploit an elemental weakness. These ones will just deal the same amount of damage if it's a weakness or whatever so all right that's a pretty good upgrade there and we absolutely need it for this next part before heading to that uh, fort majeure there now let's get Tepeda back in action there get in the water and now before moving on hmm I'm trying to get back in the water yeah whatever yeah, one thing about using Tepeda to get around, if you're not very confident in your skills with Rand rolling around, and honestly, I wouldn't blame you. I have a hard time doing that a lot of times myself. Uh, Tepeda can also somewhat reduce the encounter rate simply because you're moving two steps for every one button press, I guess, or something like that. So, yeah, that can help you get around faster, not to mention getting over cliffs and things like that. Okay, so now, for this part, 
let's see, I want to change my party order. I actually want Lin in the lead of my party because I definitely, well, I definitely don't want Sten or Nina to potentially die here. So if Lin dies, that's not the end of the world. Ryu, I would rather have him around, but not absolutely necessary. But the thing is, is that, well, when you're in one of your shaman fusions, if you take too much damage, then you'll lose your fusion and you'd have to go all the way back to Township to get it back, which I don't want to do. So let's actually just make a backup save here and continue onward then. I don't want to bring Tepeda with me, even though it is going to be a little bit of a walk, but I think we'll be fine. It's not that far. Well, you know what? Let me show something off here, if I can. Let's see. Okay, I'll just have everyone defend here. This is what I meant to do in an episode or two ago. I forget exactly when, but we got Sonic Boom for Nina there, or Lightning. Sonic Boom! Sonic Boom! Hadouken! Or, no, that, that's not right. But anyway, yeah, this ability... Yeah, look at that damage! Yeah, it's really nice for Nina there. Okay, so now we want to go to the cave. Well, next to the other cave. By the way, there is a fishing spot right around here that you could use the coin or gold or whatever it is you got as bait to get one of those merchants to show up. And they have some pretty good equipment there. But I'm not... Or what is it? But yeah, I don't want to use up one of my coins for that. But you could if you wanted to. It's not that hard to win another one, but I'd rather save the three guaranteed ones for later. Okay, let's see. We got that circlet before. And... Who do I give it to? Hmm. I could give it to Lynn, but actually, you know what? Let's give it to Nina. Even though she's all the way in the back there, I really don't want her to lose any more HP than she has to. And, yeah, let's just burn one of the herbs there. I want to keep Ryu at maximum AP. Did I say MP earlier? If I did, I meant AP. Well, let's see what this place is. Hey, hey, all right. Oh, okay. What do you mean by that? Oh, okay, sure, why not? How's it going? You got bouncers here and everything? What, you gotta check my guns or something? Okay. So yeah, you have to leave your equipment behind in order to get into the place. But you'll get it back. Don't worry about it. So let's see what we got here. Okay, yeah. Sure, that seems fine. What do we got, like, assassins or something? Oh, yeah. Napkins? Oh, right, right. For, you know, eating and stuff. Okay. Yeah, that sounds reasonable for a dining experience. Why do you even have a restaurant in a cave? Okay. Sounds like a plan. By the way, if you go into your inventory there, yeah, they actually have all this stuff there. It doesn't do anything, but... It's there. And somehow you can actually remove the regular equipment there, too. What? Why, why would I do that to myself? What does that even mean? Well, you know what? I don't want to do it. So, let's actually make a... Oh. Hmm. I meant to not do that. Let me see. Okay, good, good. Yeah, let's ignore that one. I don't care about that instruction. What is a garçon, anyway? Is it like a bouncer or something? Um, yeah, of course I do. Oh, okay. Oh, right, right. Oh, okay. I want to show what happens if you don't follow all the directions there. 
boss time! Not that this guy is remotely challenging at all, but he's there. Well, let's see. Let's go with our flame dragon. I suppose it doesn't really matter, but since we have our equipment gone, we're going to have to rely on magic for most of our damage. And let's go with Sonic Boom! Or Lightning. Depending on the translation you're using. You don't have to fight this guy at all. You're not really supposed to, actually. Don't do this if you're playing along. But anyway, hooray! Alright, we got him. But we don't want to do that because there's a reward at the end of this place that I would like to get. And in order to get it, you need to follow all the directions here. So yeah, there's a very good reason why I'm going here now. Because if you wait until later, you will never be able to get the reward that I want. Now, at this point, let's see. I'm going to go with Rare there. And you'll see why in a moment. So anyway, if you followed all the directions, you come out here and... What is this thing? Looks like some kind of grill. What the? What's going on here? What ought to be done by now? Ha ha. What milk? Don't answer that, viewers. Uh, how about I chop you up? boss time! Now, this fight we have to win. Let's see, Lin is not really going to be able to do a whole lot. I wonder if Taunt would work on the guy. I don't know, but she doesn't really deal much damage, so... Yeah, I just thought of that just now. I have no idea if that would actually work here, but... Okay, now, for this part, you absolutely, absolutely need Ryu at max AP, so that way he can get the maximum damage out of his dragon spells there and get a good lightning and hope that Sten or Lin don't die or Sten or Nina don't die Lin I don't care about let's see this guy has I think about 600 HP or somewhere around there a little more than that so with one of the dragon spells you take off most of the guys HP Hooray! We survived! Yeah, I didn't want Sten or Nina not only to just not die, but I didn't want them to get hit because they might get brought down to critical HP and lose their fusions. And I would really rather not have to go all the way back. What desperation move? Oh. That's it? Okay. Well, let's see what we got going on here. Hey, how's it going? Ah, okay. <laughs> you breaking the fourth wall there? Spontaneously combusted? No, no, that's another game, viewers. Uh, no, I don't need to... Stop talking! No, that is not the guy I want to talk to. This is the guy I want to talk to. Um, yeah, sure. No problem. Well, I do want to get a reward out of it. Yeah, absolutely. Well, we already did. I kind of breathed fire on you, or... Ice. Oh, what's this? Well, anyway, if you go through this whole sequence here, you did everything they told you to, you won the fight. No, I do not want Lin to get that. But yeah, there's a special ability that you can teach to one of your party members. And I want to teach it to Sten. A lot of people like teaching it to Nina. And that's not a horrible idea, but the thing with Nina is that she's really slow, and 
she can't really take advantage of it as much as someone like Lin or Sten could do. But I mean, we get the Chop Chop ability, or Slice, in this translation. It's a free ability, costs zero AP, and it ignores defense. It deals like 50 or 70 damage or something, and there's quite a few enemies in the game who have obscenely high defense, but not so much HP. So the Slice ability really helps out with that a lot. Not to mention, it gives Sten a way of bypassing enemies who have physical counterattacks without, or yeah, without spending AP on it. Because, well, he gets a decent amount of AP, but not that much. <laughs> Okay, I think there's nothing else here. Now, by the way, to get Slice at this point, you have to do this now. If you wait until you go into Fort Majeur, you can never get it. Although, if you don't do what they were saying there, or you wait until later or something, you get a different prize. You get... Oh, yeah, I'm going to need to revive Lin eventually. Not right now. Oh, and I'm all out of uh, healing rooms. You know, I don't want to... Or AP for Ryu. I don't want to risk losing too much HP there. But yeah, if you go through this sequence and you don't get sliced, the other reward you can get is, I believe, plus 16 max HP to your active party members. And that's not horrible, especially for Nina or Lin there. They could really use the help game okay well let's rest up here i really hope that revives lynn and cures some status ailments because i got ambushed by a bunch of those beelzebubs there and hey all right that all works there okay so now let's see with the circlet that i have there now i actually do want to give it to lynn because i really don't want her dying at this point and let's see you know i could give the silk glove to lynn but we're gonna be buying some new equipment in the very near future here anyway but what kind of welcome will Tapeta get on his way home find out next time on let's play breath of fire 2 this is hg bailey signing off have a good day